Welcome to CS101. We are going to start on Word Chapter 1, Project 1A Flyer. It starts on page 123. You will need to open up Word 2013 and create a blank document. Make sure that your ruler is turned on as well as your formatting marks. We're going to start by typing. Let's enter two times. And then we'll type out the following paragraph. Press enter. Next step is to go to the insert tab. When you see my mouse change, obviously you see the red circle around it. When I'm right clicking on the mouse, it is one color. When I left click, it is the other. We're going to start with the insert tab, the text group. We're going to find the text box. I'm going to slide it down and say text from file. You are going to navigate to where you have downloaded your student data files. Make sure you scroll down to Word Chapter 1. You're going to open W01A Text and insert. We are going to save our document now browse, navigate to where you wish to save it, okay, <clears throat> next step, we're going to highlight the word internships available. We're going to come up here to the home page. We're going to click the text effect and top offer topography button. We're going to go to fill text one outline background one hard shadow background one. Click this effect. Next step is we come over here to font and we type in 52 and press enter. Now we'll come over here and hit the center button. Next we come back to topography. We'll scroll down till we hit shadow. We'll come down till we hit outer. Offset left. Oh, gotta make sure that went. Shadow. Offset left. Next is the font color button, and they want orange accent too. We'll click save. We're going to come to the beginning of this summer. We're going to come up to insert, pictures, navigate to your student data files. We're 
Then I'll put in W01A bird and click insert. We're going to click the layout options. The first one we're going to select is square. I'm going to close this and we're going to save. We're going to come up here to the pictures height bar. We're going to type in 3.8 and press enter. Next step is we're going to make sure we still have our picture selected. We're going to come up here to the Arrange Group. We're going to click Position and More Layout Options. We're going to select Alignment. And we want it to the right relative to the margin. And under Vertical, we're going to change the alignment to Top relative to the line. We're going to click OK and it should navigate your picture to the other side. Make sure your picture is still selected. You're going to click the picture effects button. Oh, I'm sorry, picture that was incorrect. Next step is to well, I guess I was right. Picture effects. We're going to come down to soft edges. We're going to click five point. In the next step, we're going to click artistic effects. And we're going to select paintbrush, which is this one here. And we're going to save our document. We're going to click off the picture to deselect it. And we're going to go to the design tab and page borders. We're going to select box and the double lines. Select orange. Make sure the whole document is selected and we're going to click OK. We're going to press Control Home to reach the top of the document. We want to make sure we press down once. We want to press Enter four times. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to press Control N to go to the bottom. We're going to delete this mark. And we're going to come over here to Insert. We're going to go to Shape. And we're going to select the rectangle shape. We're going to make sure it's one and a half by one. I'm going to click the layout options. We're going to go to see more. And we're going to set up the horizontal alignment. It's going to be centered to the page. And then vertical, it's going to be absolute position. And we're going to type 1. It's going to be below the paragraph. And we're going to click OK. Now we're going to come over here to height. We're going to type 1.5. I come down here to width. And we're going to type 4.5. And press enter. Next, we're going to click on our box and type the following.
I'm going to press Control A to highlight it all. I'm going to right click, which gives you your mini toolbar. We're going to make it bold and a 16 point font. We're also going to come here and select the color tool and we're going to make it black. We're going to click outside and we're going to click the edge. And we'll come up here to the format tool. We're going to come up to shape styles. Click shape fill. And we want orange axis 40% lighter too. And then we're going to click shape outline. And it's going to be this color. And we're going to save. And press Control Home to go to the top of the document. I'm going to press the Insert tab. I'm going to go to the text. I'm going to click the text box. Draw a text box. And we will draw us a text box. Inside, we're going to type. Okay, we're going to click save again real quick. I'm going to click in the word. I'm going to right click and of course it will show me the correct spelling. I'm going to get our pointer and scroll over till we see our green line there. Now we're going to rise up till we see our other green line and we're going to let it go. Another way of doing that is you're going to click your layouts and you're going to click your more. Horizontal alignment, we need to make sure it's centered to the page. Vertical is an absolute, and it's at 1.25, and it's to the margin. I'm going to click OK. Press Control A to highlight it all. Right click, make the font a 16. Bold. I'll press Control E to center it. Obviously, my box is not big enough, so I'm going to adjust a little. Because I adjusted, I'm going to come back up and double check my positioning. I'm going to put it in alignment, centered, the page, vertical, and point tied to the margin. Okay, there we go. Make sure you save it. In the drawing tools, Okay, make sure. We're going to the format tab. Shape effects. We're going to shadow. Offset diagonal right. In the shape styles group, we're going to click the bottom button. Next word styles. Why am I in word styles? Shape styles over here. We're going to click this box here. 
double check the shape effects we chose. There we go. And we can click save. Next, we're going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to hit Control End. We're going to come down to Insert a Footer. You're going to come up here to Document Info and click File Name. And you can close your header and footer and save. Next step is to click File, Show All Properties. You're going to, in the tags, type in internship and documentary. Next, under subject, you'll type CRN 1654 or 1655. Depending on which class you are in, you will type your CRN number. Make sure that your name displays as the author, and you will close this, and it will ask if you want to save your changes, you will save. And hopefully it has not frozen on me. Go back to file, and double check, there it is. Everything looks good. We're going to save the document and you may close out. This is the end of Word Chapter 1, Project 1A. Thank you very much for joining me.